All right, it's time to talk about a record that's getting a lot of buzz from an artist that I wasn't all that familiar with. I've seen so many individuals like really excited about this album and a lot of people that have already listened to it have said just how amazing and like how high regards they consider this one. So let's find out if that's warranted. Miles from Nowhere from Jonas Lindbergh and The Other Side. So Jonas Lindbergh is a Swedish bass player that likes to dabble his toes into progressive rock. And in 2012, he put out kind of the first project of In Secret Place or Pace, uh, which was then followed up by The Other Side. Uh, now, these two EPs uh, were just kind of like experiments, kind of putting down like from in here onto paper, then actually producing it. And then in 2016, he came out with Jonas Lindbergh and the other side, Pathfinder. So there's been quite a bit of buzz about what's going to happen next for Jonas. I mean, the overall flavor of all these projects were your pretty standard, stereotypical retro prog, symphonic prog kind of an approach. I mean, anything from like early Spock's beard or less symphonic and dynamic Flower Kings. Uh, think of like some of the more soloed, stripped down approaches that Neil Morse would put on. That's kind of the flavor that we're getting with all these projects. Miles From Nowhere, the latest release from Jonas, has been met with quite a bit of anticipation and not necessarily felt from me. If I'm being perfectly honest, upon the first couple of listens of this album, I did feel very, like, at best lukewarm and at worst just kind of bored. I've been listening to this album pretty regularly over the course of a couple of weeks now and I gotta be honest, I'm not really getting the appeal of this. Now, I do wanna point out some of the things that I really do like about this album. I do like the structure of this album. I like the fact that, you know, this album does have three tracks that are pretty beefy in length. You know, you've got The Summer Queen coming in at 15 minutes, or almost 16 minutes, actually. Oceans of Time coming in at 11 minutes, and then the title track of uh, Miles From Nowhere being like 25 minutes. And in that sense, you know, I love a good epic retro prog outfit. So this really got me happy. This got me excited. Unfortunately, these three tracks though, they don't really go anywhere all that interesting, if I'm being honest. I mean, the, the expressions of the music I've heard before in countless iterations. And this is just kind of another one, you know, where the track will open up with the main theme. It's very big in scope, very airy. You know, it's either starting with a lone guitar, like acoustic guitar, a lone keyboard that slowly builds into a very pleasant crescendo that then goes off into a very pleasant and enjoyable jam sessions. Um, but I also feel like at no point is there any real experimentation of sound. They're not recontextualizing things in any way. I also want to point out, again, another thing that I really do enjoy about this, the second track of Little Man, the rhythm guitars and the harmonies that we have on this track are just stellar. With Little Man in particular, there's a such a soaring guitar work that's not found anywhere else on this album. And it almost feels like this little island out of nowhere that doesn't really fit anywhere else. I, I love the soaring soundscapes on this guitar. But other than that, the tracks don't really do anything else for me. In Summer Queen, I do enjoy the vocal works of uh, Jenny Storm. Uh, her vocals on here just shine and really blossom into something else, you know, and I love the kind of concept behind this track of, you know, looking at the different seasons and how we interpret them and how Jonas is able to contextualize them kind of in musical style. So I thought that was very smart. Astral Journey, the only instrumental track on here, is pleasant enough. Again, it just kind of is a paint by numbers, kind of retro symphonic prog aspect in that. You know, we have some very heavenly uh, acoustic guitar works, some really beautiful keyboard overlays on there that kind of shine a light on a lot of Neil Moore stuff, as well as Spock Beard stuff, especially like more recent Spock's Beard stuff. Um, and I'm just not feeling all that excited about it, especially when it comes to an instrumental piece. I was kind of hoping for a really satisfying either conclusion or crescendo or like a climb in some cases, but it's just kind of there. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a very pleasant track. 
And I mean, the same can basically be said for why I'm here, the second last track before the big epic, and that, again, it's just very pleasant. I don't know, I feel like it's almost derivative of a lot of the tracks that came before it. Yeah, unfortunately, at the end of the day, once I had two or three listens under my belt, I didn't feel any pull to come back to this album. I just felt like I had heard a lot of these things before and kind of done better than what I've already been hearing. And I just, I don't know, I wasn't all that excited about it, especially after such a big driving force that a lot of the prog sphere has come with this album. Like I'm hearing so many people loving and gushing about this album and I can, I can see a lot of people like loving this album. Like there are definitely a subset of fans within the Progressive of Rock stream that will absolutely love this album. I'm just not one of those, you know? Um, as, as I mentioned, just to kind of reiterate, I didn't feel like there was any expansion upon the music that we've already heard before. I didn't feel like there was any experiments that had happened. There was no recontextualizing things at all. It just felt like somebody who really enjoys this style of music and writing very inoffensive, very pleasant songs in that stream and style. I will say at the end of the day, Miles From Nowhere from Jonas Lindbergh and The Other Side is one that I would unfortunately skip. You know, and it gives me no joy of giving an album such a negative review, but I also have to be, you know, honest in my opinions of this one. After this review, I probably will never return to it. There was just no teeth. You know, there was nothing wanting, begging me to come back for more. So, I mean, if you've heard it, I really hope that you enjoy it. Um, and if you're a fan of this more symphonic, prog, retro prog outfit, I hope that you'll enjoy it. Um, but it's just not for me. So, yeah, that's what I've got for uh, Miles From Nowhere from Jonas Lindbergh and The Other Side. But what did you guys think about this album? Once it comes out, let me know what you thought about it. If you've loved it, if you hated it, whatever you thought, please let me know by commenting down below. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are definitely the best and until next time, that's out.